extinguishing flames on the freeway. Scenes like this are becoming more common after a crash today involving a Tesla created a fire that burned part of the 405 freeway in Redondo Beach. Now, we've covered multiple Tesla battery fires in the past, and they're becoming increasingly common as more California drivers make the switch to electric. KCAL's Joy Benedict on the training local firefighters are getting to take on this new generation of battery blazes. You've seen the images, EVs, mega batteries burning and firefighters racing to contain the damage of lithium ion batteries on fire. If one uh, bulb goes out. This week, local first responders getting a first hand lesson from Tesla on how to fight these 21st century fires in their cars and more. For our sake, you know, they make things fireman proof. Ben Flanders is an engineer in Rialto, one of hundreds of firefighters who signed up for this training course. And as they roll out this new technology, we're the last ones to find out. The purpose of us coming here is to be a little bit more proactive, finding out about the latest and greatest before we actually have to respond to an emergency incident. It's the second in the nation for the automaker, which brought all its products to the San Bernardino airport. If it does involve the battery pack, all we can do is keep people away from it, protect any kind of exposures, and just essentially <laughs> let the vehicle burn, which it's hard for a fireman to do. But this training isn't just about vehicles. It involves all Tesla products, including the large lithium ion battery storage systems, so that first responders know exactly what to do if there's an emergency. How do you train the firefighters for tomorrow? And if you're just focusing on training for the past events, then you're not going to be very forward thinking as a fire agency. The event was hosted by the San Bernardino County Fire Department and Chief Dan Muncie, who shut down the 15 freeway for 40 hours last summer when a storage pack caught fire. But he says fires aren't the only concern. It's floods and mudslides like last week, which can damage batteries, creating a hazard. And when you see these electric vehicles, if they're submerged, there's a there's a chance these are now going to catch on fire. So you just can't take these vehicles and put them in a normal wrecking yard. And these are mobile battery units with solar. Jan Gramatsky is a business development manager with Tesla. Our goal is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and so we can't do it alone. He says most lithium ion battery fires, although frightening to see, are fairly manageable if first responders know what to do. They will burn safely, even though they burn kind of longer than a regular fire would. Um, it's, it's something that is controlled and easily managed by the fire department with regular gear. Good news for firefighters like Flanders, who hasn't seen a lithium ion battery fire yet, but is now more confident to answer the call. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.